the things that this fitness journey, more specifically, this past five to six months of strict diet, calorie deficit, fasting, things like that, it's what this is what it has taught me. The fasting aspect taught me discipline. It made me aware of that we're really just in a habit to eat and that we have an eating addiction more than we need the food. It also gave me a greater appreciation for the food and meals that I get and it made me feel what I ate. So when I broke my fast, I felt that food almost immediately start acting. If I broke it with something bad, I felt bad. If I broke it with something good, I felt good and lean. It has taught me that the majority of our food is slop, that you have to search out healthy food, that if you just go into the store and start grabbing things, you're getting slop, you're getting preservatives, you're getting seed oils, you're getting red and blue dye, you're getting all these things that our body is not made to process. It is made to keep that food on the shelf longer or to make it taste better. Processed sugars is a huge one. Added sugars, I've learned so much. I learned that my body leans way more towards the lean side of, I'm a natural cutter, so I lose weight fast. I learned that calories and carbs do equal energy, strength energy, not sustained energy, but strength energy to push weight. I learned that your appearance definitely makes people treat you differently. Now that I have, what I say, a new body, a new aesthetic, new energy, new thoughts, new ideas, now that I'm new, people definitely treat me differently. Um, men normally have the reaction of either they're like proud of me or impressed or that, or they think, oh, well, just because you look like this and just because you did that don't mean you can whoop my ass or don't mean you're better than I'm like, bro, I never said any of that. I definitely have a different effect on people. And I've learned a lot about myself. I think I learned that if I really want to do something, I can do it. Whether I'm going to be glad that I did it or not, it's a different question. But if I want to do something, I can make it happen. The only problem is now is I don't always know what I want to do. I, all I have to do left is figure out, before I start this bulk, the only thing I have to do left is figure out my diet figure out an eating schedule, and start progressive overload. So as the cut comes to near an end, I appreciate everybody who has stuck around with me, who has watched, who has supported. I appreciate all that, but we're not done. We're not done maybe a slight little intermission here while I figure some things out but we're gonna do a lean bulk this time, not dirty. And I'm gonna try to stay motivated throughout the whole thing. I've been struggling a bit. I think I've been streaming and on camera a little too much. I get hyper fixated. Oh, another thing that it has taught me is that I have hyper fixation. And when I get interested in something, it's all the way in. To the point to where I crash out. Not that I would ever crash out, right? But uh, the past couple days I've been struggling a little bit, but we're getting back right. We're not going to fall off into degeneracy. We are going to continue to grow and mold our body and our mind, and we are going to get better. Use this video as proof use my body as proof things are going to be different in six months in a year and whenever things are going to be different so 
Thanks for being here. Love y'all. Peace.